Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum, Namaste and Wanakkam. Welcome back to my channel, Samira Sharif. Alright guys, so finally here I am today talking to you guys about my pregnancy and uh, the reports and stuff this has been one of the most awaited videos and i've been uh, wanting to film this video ever since i got pregnant but yes uh, due to several reasons like you know people say not to talk about your pregnancy and stuff though i do not believe in all of those yet i wanted to keep this uh, to do it later so that you know once i'm sure of knowing what i'm doing is right i thought then i should be sharing the same with you guys so here today in this video we're going to talk about my first scan how i reacted to my pregnancy and also things that I did or you know things to do and things you shouldn't be doing during your pregnancy so these are the couple of things that we would be covering up in this particular video and if you guys are interested then keep on watching so first things first January is when I conceived January 2021 and uh, the moment I got to know, so I've already filmed a video on this, like you know, um, how I got to know about my pregnancy and stuff. But this is for those who haven't watched that video yet and uh, who don't know how uh, things happened to me. So I thought I'll just give you a brief of how uh, things went on. So you guys will get to relate to entire video of today. This is not going to be a dedicated video of how my pregnancy happened, but yes, I'll just give you a brief of it. So 2021 Jan is when. I was feeling sick and I thought uh, I should visit the doctor because I was feeling there's something wrong within my body because I already had vaginal infection so I thought maybe uh, this feverish or you know body pains are happening because of the vaginal infection so I thought it's better to visit a gynecologist than going to a general physician. Then I went to my doctor and I told her that you know I'm feeling very ill I feel like my body is like literally draining out I had pains in every single joint of my body just like chicken gunya so it was that bad and I shared the same to my doctor and then she said uh, I think it is pregnancy I said no no chance because uh, I wasn't expecting the same and this was on 18th of January and then she was like uh, why not let's just get tested and when the regular test card, when I tested, it was very light. The second line, the positive line was very light in pink. So she said, this could be early pregnancy. And uh, then she said, let's wait because my previous period was on 19th of uh, December, like the first day of my previous period it was on 19th of December, 2020. So technically uh, the 27 day cycle. So it should have started by 17th or, you know, uh, 15th to 19th ke beach mein. But my period did not start and on 18th is when I went to doctor. Sometimes yes, it gets delayed and she said let's wait for a couple of weeks because this is just 4 weeks now. Let's wait till 7 weeks or at least 5-6 weeks and she asked me to come back on 28th to check uh, if the pregnancy is confirmed because that was an early pregnancy. I did not go for any scan on 18th. She said let's wait, let's not go for the scan, let's wait and uh, wait till 28th and she gave me the next appointment to visit on 28th. So I had a complaint of lower abdomen pain and also the doctor said the UPT test was uh, wingly positive and then she asked me to come back on 28th of Jan as I said and that's when she said let's do the scan and by then my fetus would be 5 weeks 5 days old so that's when she said let's check if there's heartbeat or let's just check if there's a sac available. And that's when I went for my scan. And now you guys will get to know about the things or you know uh, the reports that I had during my first, very first scan. But before that, uh, because the uh, doctor said it is slightly positive, it's like you know early pregnancy. She said if you want to keep the baby, just be very careful, just be cautious in everything that you do. And uh, as usual, I had my own silly doubts, but now I don't anymore anyway. So I had my own silly doubts, I asked if I can walk, if I can get down the stairs and regular things that you know every mom, like, like the first time mom has several doubts and several questions in her head, I asked all of them and doctor said just be yourself, don't lift heavy weights and you can do all the regular activities that you have, just be normal self, just avoid lifting heavy weights and also she said try to be as positive as possible try to learn or you know try to read more of books and very immediately i came home and i shared everything to my family like uh, of course uh, i was at my home so my mother-in-law my sister-in-law anwarjan everybody knew about it my sister-in-law and anwarjan were with me at the hospital but i came back home i told my mother-in-law then i shared the same to my mom and my sisters 
yet did not share the news to the men of the family like the other men in the family because we had to wait till 28th of Jan till we get the confirmed news about it like you know, if the fetus is there or if the sac is there, if the heartbeat is there and all of those. The very moment uh, I got to know about my pregnancy, Seema, Ira's mom, she gifted me these books uh, to do with pregnancy and parenting and I was ever since my childhood I have been like a big no to reading because uh, somehow I'm not a person who likes to read books or you know uh, even in my childhood basically I had this uh, problem of dyslexia so every time I try to read something the alphabets would fly and this is for real this is for real I have that I cannot read at least if I read I cannot understand it, there should be someone who's reading out for me even during my uh, school days or you know during my exams mainly I would make sure that somebody is reading out for me and most of the times it used to be Appa or Seema who are reading out for me during my exams and the more we kept growing uh, it was my grandmom then I started going to my friends home and my friends would read out to me if you guys have seen uh, my recent video on my Telugu channel Vaishu my friend who lives in the US she used to read out for me during my graduation so I always had this problem and I still have it I cannot read the more I try to read I have the alphabets flying, the dyslexia is still there. The, the day Seema was gifting me the books, she got them and uh, she gifted them to me from Ira's side because Ira is going to have little sister or brother. Everybody in the house was super excited and she said, Samia Pa, first time ever in your life, you are going to read a book only for your baby. I was like, are you serious? I cannot. I want you to read it out for me. And obviously, because I, I did not live here my entire pregnancy, and uh, neither did Seema lived here during my pregnancy so they, everybody had their own life challenges everybody had uh, their own uh, things going on in their lives and uh, back in my house again it's myself, Anwarjan, Tabasum, mom and Reshmanti mom is busy with her own work and uh, household work Reshmanti is totally occupied with her household work Tabasum is busy with her life and Prince and Anwarjan is busy taking care of all of us and there's nobody who can read out to me I tried my best so these books are really good. Books actually help us, you know, uh, gaining a lot of knowledge. So many of you all uh, uh, appreciate me the way I'm taking care of Arhan or the way I did my pregnancy and stuff. That is because I learned a lot even before my pregnancy got confirmed. So the moment I got to know uh, it might or might not be uh, a pregnancy like the early pregnancy, I was really, really uh, scared. I didn't know if I should be happy, I didn't know if it's a shocking news. I was like, what exactly I should be doing? Should I be happy or sad about it? And then I was like, whatever happens, happens for a reason and Allah may have wanted this to happen. It's just that now I need to prepare myself uh, for the baby or the new member that's gonna come in the family. And again, uh, this journey, you know, uh, teaches us a lot. It's okay if the baby is coming, it's okay if the baby is not coming. You have to just be prepared and uh, know things about whatever you're doing. Just to learn about all these things, Seema gifted me these books and uh, I tried my best. I tried to read a couple of times. I open, I try to read, words fly, I close and I sleep. So this happened like the initial days before I could go for my first scan. And that's when while I was discussing the same with one of my friends, she was like, uh, are you serious? Are you still living in this world? We already have audiobooks. I'm like, what, what, what exactly are audiobooks? Then she was like, uh, there's an app called Cuckoo FM. So we get this both on App Store as well as Play Store. I'll try to link that in the description box so that you guys, at least people like me who hate reading or have dyslexia or cannot understand when they're reading, like, you know, I cannot understand what I'm reading. So mainly for people like me or even in our busy lifestyle and schedules, this actually works really good, the audiobooks are so 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 helpful so she suggested me about cuckoo fm i was like let me just try my hands on this and i downloaded the app and the subscription was very very minimal guys it is just 3.99 for one whole year and you get unlimited access to all the books all the books and shows that are available on the app like not just audiobooks but also there are a lot of shows also which are available on this app which kept me entertained which actually you know whenever i feel like listening to any other show that also kept me uh, going so there's this audiobook called garbha vasta or shushu dekhbal on this app which was such a great help during my entire pregnancy not just that even now i mean even after the baby so this has to do with pre-pregnancy, during pregnancy, like throughout your nine months and also prepares us during our delivery, like you know how to prep our body, prep our mind and how do we uh, have things around us 
even uh, while delivery and right after delivery there are a lot of things there are a lot of issues which pop up so it actually lets us know and you know prepares us to be ready for all those things and even post having the baby uh, not just things to do with the baby or uh, baby's well-being all the pregnancy pregnancy's well-being but also uh, how to manage finance or you know how to plan the finance uh, during the entire pregnancy and even after the baby and not only the infant but also how the baby keeps growing how you need to do things in every level of your life this has so many chapters like 43 chapters wherein it covers everything pre pregnancy pregnancy delivery uh, post delivery baby baby's health baby's nutrition and also emergencies like any kind of emergencies how you need to manage how you need to take care and this has been so so helpful like i just plug in and listen to it whenever i'm free or whenever even i'm working like preparing meals for arhan i'm just listening to the audiobook and get so much knowledge out of it and trust me guys kuku fm has literally become my best friend ever since my pre pregnancy as i said while i'm cooking i'm listening to the audiobooks and stuff like i've covered so many chapters already and uh, not just this they have several different books the other day my sister was uh, downloading and guess what right now they're running sale and the sale ends on the 31st this has been since 23rd to 31st i really wish if i could film this video before and tell you guys about this nevertheless the sale is still on you get the subscription in 50% discount and the coupon code is suno50 s u n o 50 and the subscription which i took for 399 you will get it for just 199 for the entire year which is great right so i used to listen to this while i used to work out during my pregnancy because uh, it always felt like you know you had a friend walking along with you who's reading out books for you like the books to do with your pregnancy so it was so good i used to walk around with my pump listening to this uh, beautiful audiobook and even right before my delivery like you know few weeks before my delivery also like i used to lie down aram se chill and i used to listen to this audiobook had been such a great help i'm glad that you know i covered the delivery chapter before uh, my 36th week because exactly on 37th week i delivered arhan and uh, the audiobooks motivation was so so helpful that you know it prepped me and uh, made my delivery so easy you guys have seen my delivery series already it just happened like that and without any issue any pain it taught me everything so i'll surely recommend you guys to try your hands on this uh, garba vasta and shishu dekhbal book which is available on kuku fm i'll leave the link in the description box and don't forget to use the coupon code which is suno50 to avail 50% discount on the subscription another thing that i want to tell you guys it's not just for garba vasta and shishu dekhbal there are several different books on this app guys like things to do with finance motivation inspiration there's so many different genres that you will find on this particular app and you know what kuku fm is india's leading audio show platform with over 4.5 plus ratings and not just that as i said kuku fm also has shows they have more than 4000 shows library on non fiction content and the best part is you can listen to these audio books in your own regional language isn't that great because i was more comfortable in hindi is why i listen to the garbhavasta and sushu dekhbal you can pick and choose your own regional language it is so so comfortable and lets you do your things like your multitasking as well as listening and learning so many things using the kuku fm and guys don't forget the sales ending super duper soon so go download right now link is in the description kuku fm helps you unlock the knowledge in just 199 instead of 399 across varied range of topics okay so this is one of the main things that you need to mentally prepare yourself to be pregnant to have a baby and how to take care of the baby or how to take care of your pregnancy so that chapter Kuku FM had helped me with, and the next thing was to keep myself physically active. As the doctor told me not to lift heavy weights, but she said I should keep myself active. Like you know, try to walk, you know, do any sort of exercises which actually would keep me active and not just lie on the bed because pregnancy is a beautiful phase and not a disease to be just sitting or lying on the bed. So she was the one who said be active as much as you can. and uh, i just needed someone's guidance and support which i got from the kuku fm so that is why i used to be active i used to dance i used to do everything that i could but yes there were so many people mocking me for that i was the mother as i said and i knew what was right for my baby and now let's jump into the scan so i recorded i vlogged every single scan of mine and you know uh, my experiences how and why and when i'll first show you guys a few shots you know where i first gave my blood test for this i mean just before this particular 
regular scan. Doctor asked me to give a blood test. Don't look at it, Sam. Don't look at there, Sam. You'll get scared. Now my heartbeat is raising to another level. Being a chair, the gutty word crumb. I'm a function out of the day. Ah, sorry. I'll take the ఏం కాలేదు నానా అని ఏం చేస్తే రా డోంట్ లుక్ దే సామ్ పర్లే ప్రెస్ చేయాలి గట్టి పర్వాలే ఏం కాదమ్మా ఎంత ఈజీ చేసారు చాలా బాగా చేసారే సాటెడ్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ ఏం కాదు అయిపోయింది లాస్ట్ మనం ఇంకా యూరిన్ కూడా ఇవ్వాలి దీని తర్వాత దాని తర్వాత విల్ బి ఆల్మోస్ట్ అయిపోయింది అమ్మా అయిపోయింది లేదు 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 తీసేసారాయా ఇప్పుడు తీసేసారు Okay, so yes, I started getting brave. Uh, I was trying to be as strong as possible while giving my blood test. You will get to see many of blood tests from this, how I evolved every period of my pregnancy. So I'm going to insert everything in my upcoming video. So stay tuned, guys. I'm sure many girls or many to be moms would relate to this. Now coming to my uh, 28th of Jan 2021's first scan ever. So that day I was here at Aapa's home because 31st Jan, it is Ayan's birthday every year obviously. But that particular year, last year I was at Aapa's place because uh, we were preparing for his birthday and planning for his birthday. Anwar Jan came here, picked me and uh, we went to the doctor. And uh, then there was a lot of waiting. Then we went to Starbucks, I had my coffee and then we went back to the hospital to get my scan done. So first thing, uh, let's just go through the scan. Things that you will get to see, I mean things that you need to expect in your scan. It was OB early pregnancy scan report and indication fetal liability scan. real time b mode ultrasonography of gravid uterus done root was transvaginal the the root is like you know if it is from the outside or from the inside transvaginal is they insert uh, in your vagina and scan the gestational sac gestational sac seen so that day my sac was seen sac margins appear regular so it was it seemed like regular sac gestational sac measured so this was on 5 weeks 5 days you can just go through your scans if you've already done your scan uh, gestational sac measurement was 8.8 by 4.8 by 9.2 mm yolk sac yolk sac was present and a fetal pole not seen so there was no fetal pole seen i had to go again uh, to check my heartbeat but yes the pregnancy by then was confirmed 28 they confirmed my pregnancy and then impression there was only one fetus so impression is where uh, they will see if there are two fetuses or one fetus so it looked like there is one but then the age gestational age was 5 uh, weeks 5 days and uh, it assigned with the estimated due date and uh, the other things that you need to know are here 
So I'm gonna show you guys the pictures of my scan so you can just go through. So this is what is the sac and the measurement of the sac. And this is how my entire, uh, uh, I mean the first scan went through every single picture likewise i have pictures of all my scans and all my reports where you'll get to see the growth of the fetus which turned into a baby and came out as a ran i will surely uh, make a vlog and you know show you guys about every single uh, phase of mine but here i thought i should first start off with do's and don'ts and what you need to expect and what you need to do and then my next scan was on 11th of february the fetal visibility scan things like you know time or things around me did not permit me to edit or make it a complete video i thought this is the time because there are so many new mommies and you guys will know uh, actually know what i did why i did how i did so i thought i should vlog it and show you guys and share my experience with you guys what to expect what not to expect and uh, another important thing is uh, trust your body trust yourself trust your doctor and try to learn a lot than uh, following things around you like just because your mom did this you don't have to do it just because your friend did that you don't have to do it or just because your sister did it you don't have to do it do what you like and try to learn try to gain a lot of knowledge try to get a lot of knowledge from the books and audio books are the best and uh, that had really helped me so don't forget download cuckoo fm it is in the description guys i'm telling you so many times because the sale is ending and i don't want you guys to spend a lot 3.99 is not a lot but definitely when compared to 1.99 yes it is so grab this opportunity use the coupon code which is suno50 and avail that discount and download right now and trust me you will thank me later anyway i hope this video was informative any questions you have anything to do with your pregnancy or your baby if the baby is younger to arhan i'll I'm, i'll be more than happy to help you out so please do let me know in the comment section down below and yeah i hope this video was informative i'll see you all soon in my next video but before signing off please do subscribe to this channel and also all the family channels shanur sana frolic tabassum hyderabadi beauty delhi bees and of course my telugu channel Samira Sharif Vlogs Telugu. I know I have a Tamil channel as well, Samira Sharif Vlogs Tamil, but I'm not active uh, more on Tamil channel because I need some time to work on the content as well as edit the same. But yes, if you love to watch my Tamil content, please do subscribe to my Tamil channel as well. I'll see you all soon in my next video. Until I'll see you next. Lots of love. We've been fighting for so long over things that pass.